Okay, so uh, what we're going to do tonight is uh, I keep getting this P038 code. I've changed the uh, 109 relay and the 180, I believe it's the 180. One controls the switching of the power to the glow plugs, and I believe that that is the 109. And the 180 uh, controls the glow plugs uh, communication with the computer in a car and it also controls half of the damn servos on top of this engine I have to go back and reread it but it has a lot more to do with uh, the car than just the glow plugs but anyway back to the glow plugs so uh, you can do ohms readings and, and you know continuity tests and yada yada um, I like to keep it practical I want to see these things fire up so what you do is you go on the back side of your vacuum pump on the back side of the vacuum pump down here right down in here if you can see it if I can get this angle right if I can get my light to stop moving okay so on the back side here right Here is a plug. See it? Okay. Just below the pump, there is a thermostat. Well, not a thermostat, but a uh, sensor senses temperature. Temperature sensor. If you look behind the back side of that glow plug, right, right there, that preheater assembly glow plug. It's hard to see get this angle right you can see it there right where the lights refracting off the pump see it okay now these are just rubber mounted in okay hold on a minute here where's my thing uh, let's see if I can get a better angle here okay so Bear with me, midnight mechanic here. Come on, light. So, if you look in here, oh, hold on, let me grab another light. Bubba, give me the pen light. Not here. It's not in there? Oh, it's in my pocket, I got it. See, I'm getting old. Okay, let's try this again. See that? There's the plug. And right below the plug, there it is. So there's just a clip that holds this in. It's rubber mounted and it goes into this housing, your preheater assembly housing. See it? Right there. So what happens, you gotta be careful. Get out of the way. There it is. See it? Right there. So the release for this thing, it's a real bear. It's not on the top, it's on the side. Okay, because these plugs and these Volkswagens have this stupid, you know, they couldn't just make it like everybody else and make a pinch clamp type release. No, it's gonna be this weird German shit. So anyway, on these releases, uh, let me grab another one here so I can show you. God, I don't wanna make this video though. So to get it off so you don't break it and you don't crack your um, fitting and you don't mess everything up, here, okay. So here's one. Here's one. So okay, so on these fittings, so this is going to be sitting on that sensor like this, right? You're not going to do anything getting at it up top. You have to take a, a screwdriver from the side and push this back. Push that back towards the wires and that releases the lock so you can slide it out. Okay, so that's easy enough to understand. Don't break your connector and be careful because you're mounted in a little piece of rubber and it's probably going to be brittle. And if you crack, if you break that rubber, you're going to start leaking. Okay, so also, 
you're going to start leaking anyway because of the rubber mount just the way it is. So when you're messing around with it, don't freak out if it's if it's leaking a little bit. It's going to happen. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a test. Um, I want to see if these glow plugs work in, in real time. And uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and hooked up jumper cables. I've pulled the, the harness. I've got a jumper cable to ground to the threads on the glow plug. Also on this side, this jumper cable is to ground. They're both tied to ground, not to positive, to ground. And they're grounding out on the threads of the glow plugs because the glow plugs normally would ground out through the engine, right? To complete the circuit, 50 amps is coming through here on startup. So we're going to bypass this so I can see these things in real time running, two at a time anyway. So we're going to shut off the lights and we're going to see how this goes. Now you don't want to leave the ignition on for too long. I believe it's only about a 15 second run when you start your car that if it's cold, these will fire up. So that's the whole point. We have to remove the thermostat, or not the thermostat, but the uh, sensor, the temp temperature sensor, so that we have a... Uh, zero signal it, 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 to the ECU it appears that the engine's cold there's no signal coming through on the sensor so the reason why we do that we disconnect the wires to the sensor so that the glow plugs will fire because the glow plugs won't fire if the sensors uh, showing that the engines warm okay so you with me on that so disconnect your sensor be careful don't bust it okay Bubba go ahead and turn the key forward do not start the car Shut the key down. Turn it off. Okay, well them two work. Or those two. Back over to ground on the threads. On these two. I'm gonna switch. I wanna make sure these two are working. Come on. Oh how fun. It's always fun doing stuff with one hand. Someday I will get a real POV camera. Come on now. Work with me today. Oh yeah, that's hot still. Okay, hold on. Set you down. And reconnect our ground. Double check our ground's good here. And Looks good, looks good. Turn the key on, Mr. Malik. Turn the key off, Mr. Malik. So there we have it. So now I don't have a clue. I haven't a clue why my P038 code is going off unless it has to be the 180 or the 109 and I've replaced them both so this is going to be interesting so uh, the glow plugs work so now remember I said the 180 doesn't just control the glow plugs and I did test the continuity through the preheater circuit so the, the preheater circuits working as far or not, the circuit I haven't tested the glow plugs have continuity, but I don't feel like pulling the glow plugs on the preheater assembly tonight to do what I just did. I will do that later because I have to drain the antifreeze to do that. So if the P038 is throwing a code for uh, the glow plugs for the engine, or is it throwing a code for the preheater assembly glow plugs? They are not burnt as far as I know. There's continuity going through them. So anyway, that's a quick way to test your glow plugs. Uh, you take your glow plugs out, you put them back in the harness, you take a jumper cable, you hook it up to, gr or to ground on your battery, you hook each jumper cable up to the threaded part of your installed into the harness glow plugs. And these stay hot for a while, so don't go grabbing them, even though they don't look red hot. Give them a while to cool down. So anyway... Um, there you have it. Simple way to test your glow plugs to make sure that they work without 
doing all the uh, continuity and uh, ohms testing on them. So they work. It's nice and simple. Um, okay, I'll keep you posted on this issue. I'm still going to have to figure this out. I think there's something else that's being controlled by the 180. Um, and I'm going to have to figure it out. Okay, hopefully that helps some people out. Have a good night.